One of the purposes of this video is to discuss the fact that the galaxies and the rest of the stars in the universe are distributed and interconnected like electronic wiring in a gigantic wiring harness, in addition to being distributed and integrated like a gigantic communications network of some kind, or a sensor network, a computer network, or a combination of all of the above which could include the World Wide Web of the Internet. The purpose of this video is in part to impress you with the idea that the universe is structured like all of the above mentioned networks combined, as well as structured like the human brain, all of which are internally and externally structured identically to each other. With the neural networks of the human brain and other biological networks now being used by scientists as blueprints for the latest computing and networking systems, which is something to bear in mind, as you also bear in mind that the evolution and expansion of the human brain internally and externally mirrors the evolution and expansion of the internet, both of whose evolution and structure are mere images of the evolution and structure of the human brain, as well as mere images of the dynamics of the human brain. With the galaxies and stars distributed like and behaving like sensors and relay satellites, antennas, routers, mainframes, PCs, and related equipment and devices, wireless and wired distributed exactly like neural cells in a gigantic brain, in addition to functioning like communicating brain cells function and intercommunicate with the galactic filaments serving as a primary set of physical connectors like fiber net cables and phone lines throughout the gigantic artificial computerized brain of the universe which I think is an evolving and expanding technological artifact that is modeled after the human brain. The universe as a brain theory is supported by the fact that the universe is supposedly emerged in some kind of fluid according to the relatively recent fluid universe theory and we all know that the brain is immersed in cerebral fluid in addition to being mostly made of water in addition to being electrically active just like the universe is electrically active just like the internet is electrically active to name just a couple of comparisons what this means and as preposterous as it seems is that the galaxies are playing simultaneous roles as brain neurons and computer nodes and sensor nodes communication nodes and other technologies and this role as sensors include serving as the equivalent of what are called laboratory on chip platforms just like these here, especially microfluidic laboratory on chips, which are devices that are used by doctors and scientists to study and manipulate cells, DNA, and other particulates at the microscopic level. And the galactic filaments that you see flowing into and out of the galaxies are not just the equivalent of axons and dendrites that connect brain cell neurons, but galactic filaments are also serving as the equivalent of microfluidic and nanofluidic inlet and outlet bio lines and pneumatic tubes, fibers, wires, and related transport and transmission structures that respectively carry cells, DNA, chemical particulates, electricity, microwaves, and other matter and energy to and from these microfluidic lab on chips and related devices. Just like filaments carry dust and gas and electricity and other matter and energy to and from the galaxies, especially during their formation process, with help, with help from blood vessels and capillaries that transport nutrients and waste to and from brain cells. This set of dynamics is a mere image of the dynamics of what are specifically called inertial and centrifugal microfluidic lab-on-chip and lab-on-disc platforms. 
especially with regard to the Milky Way's spiral centrifugal dynamic, while also bearing in mind that the Milky Way and all matter within is rotating and circulating through the arms of the Milky Way at thousands of miles per second. In centrifugal lab on disks spin between hundreds and thousands of revolutions per minute. The spiral galaxies and all matter within these galaxies are respectively rotating and circulating at incredible rates of speed. If you were looking at these galaxies from the outside in real time, they would be a blur. Just like this microfluidic lab on disk device that is spinning that we can see. Where it gets even trickier and more significant is that not only are the centrifugal inertial and inertial forces exerted by our Milky Way and other spiral galaxies more or less mere images of the dynamics of spiral microfluidic lab on chips and disks, but these forces also more or less mirror the internal dynamics of particle accelerators. This means that the spiral and circular flows of suns and planets and moons through the arms of spiral galaxies are mere images of the flows of atoms and subatomic particles through the rings of cyclotrons and synchrotrons. With me making no effort to differentiate or explain much about these machines, except to say that the Milky Way does indeed produce synchrotron radiation, although the Milky Way is not officially a synchrotron. In the location of the suns and planets and moons in our Milky Way galaxy relative to the location of the central black hole, and this is important, are in the same relative location as the ions and the ion source in these cyclotrons, with the ion source being where central black holes and spiral galaxies are located. And what is especially significant here and a primary point I am trying to make in this video, if not very eloquently, is that the brain synapses are responsible for transmitting and receiving information, with the ions between the synaptic gaps being the transmitters of this information. Whereas the locations of the planets and the rest of the stars inside spiral galaxies are in the same relative locations as the ions between synaptic gaps in a brain where these ions are flowing between synapses as if through the rings of spiral galaxies, as if through the rings of cyclotrons and synchrotrons, and a confusing dynamic that I think is technological to the core, and that enables the bionic mind of the universe to synchronize with, as well as keep track of each and every organism in our bionic universe in which we are specimens and in information in the mind of the cybernetic god the cybernetic machine. If God exists, God is a machine, a bionic machine. In my mind, this concept is supported when we consider how cells, DNA, and particulates, and other matter are arranged inside the rings of these microfluidic lab-on-chip biosensor devices, just like the suns and planets and moons, and all other matter in our Milky Way galaxy is arranged inside the rings of the Milky Way just like antenna elements arranged inside spiral antennas like these examples here with all the elements arranged in just the right place which includes the mathematically perfect location of the location of our solar system just like everything is in just the right place inside these particle accelerators data disks and bio disks And I am going to wrap up this video by saying that doctors and scientists have recently merged centrifugal microfluidic lab-on-disc biosensors with what are called lab-on-chip microsphere biosensors for the purpose of disease diagnosis. The dynamics of which I am not going to elaborate on except to say that this amounts to a little biosensor inside of a big biosensor a big machine harboring a little machine inside the machine of the cybernetic universe. The Earth is a laboratory on a chip biosensor inside the laboratory on chip biosensor of the Milky Way galaxy and that's not even the half of it. 
The galaxies are fusions of sensor and particle accelerator technology and antenna and biodisc technologies. And if you like this video, give it the thumbs up, subscribe, share, and leave questions and comments. I included links to a couple of my other videos that might help place things in a more coherent perspective, if that's even possible.